Just one year since that deadly mass shooting in Sacramento, the shots were fired early in the morning on K Street. Just as the bar shut down for the night, the violence sparked by rival gangs. That shooting took the lives of six people, hurt several others. Three suspects have been arrested, including Matula Payton and brothers Smiley and DeAndre Martin. CBS 13's Brittany Howe Live is in downtown Sacramento, where a remembrance ceremony just wrapped up to honor the victims and call for change. Brady. Well, tonight's ceremony was to honor the victims that were in that shooting. Now, out of the victims, it was the family of Sergio Harris um, that was spotlighted this evening. And although Harris is considered to be a part of the shooting, they want the world to know that he was a victim, too. You can't say nothing about my son. My son was my son. Sergio Harris's mother, Pamela, joined by his two daughters Monday night, addresses how the community is remembering her son. They didn't know Sergio. They didn't know what kind of person he was. Charging documents released by the Sacramento Police Department claim Sergio was a known gang member and although a victim, had involvement in the shooting. But his mom wants the world to know him as she did, a good man and a great father. He's not no gang member. He was our son. He was their father. And I don't care what anybody say. Monday's remembrance ceremony was also a call to action. Layla Shank is the founder of Impact, an organization that supports families impacted by gun violence. It's enough for them to have to worry about burying their loved ones. They shouldn't have to worry about how they're going to pay for the casket. Shank also says Sacramento streets need to be safer, and it starts with addressing gun violence. We have to answer these calls all the time. Shootings happen every single day. We asked Mayor Steinberg what the city has done to keep people safe. He points out the newly created nighttime economy manager who coordinates downtown security. He also says law enforcement have increased vehicle and bike patrols until 3 a.m. Obviously, when something like this happens, um, it, it requires an assertive response. We've responded. Now, the work is never done. And we also did ask um, Mayor Steinberg about the ceremony and Sergio Harris. He says today's remembrance is about honoring those lives regardless their involvement in the shooting.